house hunting bees are Seeley's specialty. And after 37 years of study, he's convinced that swarms like this not only make smart decisions about where to live, the way they make those decisions bears uncanny resemblance to the way decisions get made in our own brains. Tom Seeley is finding that there are deep parallels with how the brain makes a decision with how the bee colony itself can make decisions. This is extremely important because it's telling us something fundamental about how you can build intelligence. So let me get this straight. You're saying that these bees make a decision. Dude, they're bugs. That's right, that's right. Collectively, they can achieve high intelligence. It's a lot like how your brain works. My brain? How could that be? To understand Seeley's far out claim, we have to look at swarming bees like this. These 12,000 bees have outgrown their old home and need to find a new one to build their hive and raise their young. Normally, a swarm like this would pick a roomy tree hole, but here on Appledore Island, there aren't any trees. So Seeley can do controlled experiments with wooden nest boxes to figure out exactly how the swarms make this decision. To start, Seely places two boxes out on the island, about a quarter of a mile away from the swarm in different directions. The first, labeled yellow, is a dream home for the bees. Roomy, with a small entrance to prevent predators from getting in. There we go. The second, blue, is a fixer-upper. It has less space inside and a big entrance. Take out this little entrance, put in a big entrance. Okay, all set. A so-so home site. Back at the swarm, a few scout bees take off in search of a new home. As soon as one discovers the yellow box, Seeley's team nabs it and gently dots it with the corresponding paint color. Same goes for blue. What happens next, I have to say, is pretty crazy. Each bee that finds something comes back and announces her discovery by performing these waggle dances. Wait, wait, waggle dances? Yes. As it turns out, the waggle dance is the way bees communicate with each other. And its discovery back in 1946 was so astonishing that it won a Nobel Prize. See our yellow painted bee here? See how every time she wiggles, her head is facing the same direction? She's actually pointing her hive mates in the direction to fly to find the yellow box. Similarly, our blue bee is doing the same thing, but in the opposite direction, pointing the way to find the blue box. Those bees tagging behind her watch carefully so they can follow directions. They take off, check out the real estate for themselves, get marked, and when they return, more dances, more recruits. But the blue bees are at it too. Now we're getting more and more painted bees back at the swarm. But that's not all. Notice how our yellow bee is doing the dance three times, while our blue bee is doing it only twice. Again, that's three times for yellow, but only twice for blue. This last piece of waggle speak tells us how enthusiastic they are about their sights. Looks like yellow is picking up more recruits. And the yellow box is the better home. Will yellow win? Wow. So how is the decision made then? It's a lot like an election. The bees try to recruit additional supporters to be affiliated with their site. And scientists thought that when enough bees waggled for a particular site, that's how the swarm would decide where to move. But then Seeley uncovered a new part of the process. See this yellow bee here? She keeps ramming the blue bee and making that weird beep sound. It's a signal that means stop dancing. And if she keeps it up, the blue bee will eventually stop dancing for the blue site. The bee version of mudslinging Negative campaigning. What Seeley discovered is that bees like this will go around using this stop signal in addition to waggle dancing, thereby campaigning for their own site and curbing the competition. Amazingly, 
This process is what neuroscientists believe mirrors how decisions get made in our own brains. Tom Seeley's studies of bees suggests evolution is finding the same solution to problem. I find that mind-blowing. Once the decision is made, all the bees will go to one new home. The trigger is the number of bees visiting a candidate site. As soon as it hits around 100, those bees report back to the swarm, and it's go time. You know, it's like discovering a, a manuscript by Mozart, something like that. Even though the decision-making in a swarm of bees has evolved completely independently from the human brain, um, they've converged on the same basic design, which tells us that this is probably because this is the optimal way to do it.